In this question, you are being asked what figure should appear in the statement of profit or loss for the year ended 30th of June 20x6 for these items. The items in question are in the text above. It tells us in the information provided that at the 30th of June 20x5, so one year before, a company's allowance for receivables was $39,000. This must be our balance brought forward for this year. It then gives us the trade receivables amount for the year, which totals $517,000. They then tell you that it's been decided to write off irrecoverable debts totaling $37,000 and then to adjust the allowance for the receivables to the equivalent of 5% of trade receivables. There is quite a lot going on within this information, and so it's a good idea to set out what we need to do. The first thing we should do is adjust for the receivables balance. Once we've done that, we are then in a position to be able to calculate the closing allowance for receivables balance at the 30th of June 20x6. Our third step will then be to make the adjustment to the allowance for receivables to ensure the closing balance is what we have calculated in our second step. So let's set up a working to adjust our receivables balance. We know from the question that the receivables amount is $517,000. They have also told us that it's been decided to write off irrecoverable debts totaling $37,000. So we will need to remove those from the receivables balance. This will then give us our adjusted receivables balance, which comes to $480,000. It's on this figure that we will then be able to calculate our allowance for receivables. It tells us it should be the equivalent of 5% of the trade receivables balance. And so if we multiply by 5%, we will get our closing balance for the allowance for receivables, which amounts to $24,000. This is the closing balance for allowance for receivables, but it doesn't tell us what should be included in the statement of profit or loss. Let's look at the ledger account so we can see the movements. We will have an allowance for receivables account, which belongs in the statement of financial position, and we'll have an irrecoverable debts account, which belongs in the statement of profit and loss. We can see from the question that there was an opening balance for the allowance for receivables of $39,000. This would have been on the credit side. We were then told that there was a write-off of irrecoverable debts totaling the $37,000, which we've adjusted in our workings. The double entry for this would have been to debit the irrecoverable debts account and credit the receivables account. And so we will recognize that debit in our irrecoverable debts ledger account. We have then adjusted for the receivables balance and we have calculated what the closing allowance for receivables is at 5%, which is $24,000. This will therefore be my carry forward balance in my allowance for receivables. What I need to do is work out what the adjustment should be for that balance to ensure that the ledger account agrees. For both sides to equal $39,000, my adjustment for allowance for receivables is $15,000. This adjustment will be a debit to the allowance for receivables account and the other side is written off to the statement of profit and loss. And so I will show my credit balance in my irrecoverable debts account. The balancing figure in my irrecoverable debts account will be what we transfer to the statement of profit and loss. And so therefore my transfer is $22,000. And so finally, reviewing the question, what figure should appear in the statement of profit and loss for the year ended 30th of June 20x6? It should be $22,000.